if you've been playing Resident Evil and you've run around a corner and come face to face with a zombie and thought, shit, I didn't know he was there. <laughs> yeah, I should have looked there. You yeah. Know, you, yeah, you think, fuck, you know, I didn't know he was there, shit, and you run round and he starts mourning on your right. arm, and you think, fuck off. But, you know, that's that's the wor- I think that's my worst fear. I, I think with, a f- with running zombies, and the zombies out like 28 days later, I think with, with that, it's a quick pain, it's a quick pain, I'll say painless, but obviously it's going to hurt, right. but it's it's there, they're, they're at you, they're ripping away, they're eating right. you. Whereas slow zombies literally just eat you, and you're going to die uh, a slow, painful uh, death. Yeah, yeah. Inside my blog today, if you go to eddyrotten.com, you can see what I posted today. And uh, Loki is in a bell tower, right? He's looking down on this yeah. horde of zombies that's starting to slowly surround the church that he's in. And, and he looks down at the, the, the base of the bell tower, and there's these steps. Well, this, this, this old lady and this man are there. This lady's she's got a gun, and this guy's got, like, a couple bags of flour and some water that he found. They're survivors inside Ethiopia. Yeah. And he's got this wheelbarrow, and so he's trying to throw everything into a wheelbarrow so they can escape. But they caught the attention of the zombies. Well, she's got this handgun, and she starts blowing them away, just attracting more zombies because of the sound. Well... Loki is looking down and seeing everything, and from the back of the horde of zombies comes one of these runners that just sprints through and knocks down everybody in his way and then leaps like 20, 30 feet across everybody and lands on this lady and just turns her into like a nothing. He devour, devours her, her bones, everything. And so all the, all the zombies gather. I think that the dude I wrote that he uh, dropped the flower in the water and just walked out open-armed into the zombies because he knew he had no chance at all. He was ready to go. Oh, so sure. the the two hordes, the Man. hordes of zombies just completely, uh, they made these people disappear. There was nothing left at all. So they were there for food and nourishment instead of like what you see sometimes in the movies and even some of the other books. Um, depending on how the story is going, they bite you and then they... They get up and walk away, almost like they want you to become part of their population, you know? Yeah. So, pretty scary. Yes. So, what would your answer be then? <laughs> that Dude, is at the end of it, at the end of it, you. because I'm fat and lazy, my cardio is my nightmare, and I'm still more scared of the uh, the running zombies because I can always go into a room backwards and shoot what's behind the door but you know when I hit my my certain point I can't run anymore you know if I got a pack of bulldogs yeah. after me at some point I'm gonna get caught <laughs> so that's my answer <laughs> they're gonna chase you down and fucking have you <laughs> yeah plate. that's my answer is running zombies is the scariest for me to be honest, I think there's just as much chance as me getting caught by slow moving zombies. Really? Yeah. Well, that, I mean, <laughs> that's how good that, I am. <laughs> don't you think, though, that if you walk up, if you know that they're slow moving zombies only, don't you think yeah. that. Well, I don't know. I guess running zombies could get tired, too, and eventually become r- slow moving zombies, you know? <clears throat> or do they? Would, would they? I don't know. Would they only run? I don't know. You know, they dead. How out of breath do dead people Do get? fat zombies have a cardio limit if they're, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Could they stop and actually catch their breath? That is my question. <laughs> That's our question do, for you. Do, do, do fat zombies have a cardio <laughs> limit? Do, I mean, they don't, you know, they, they, they're dead. <laughs> I know. They're, they're dead, you know. Oh, can they just keep running forever? Do they run back to their little zombie grave? And do, is there, a, a, like, a zombie treadmill that they keep up their cardio with? <laughs> I, f- I think, personally, fat zombies are not running for you. They're running to their local takeaway shop. <laughs> <or> like... <laughs> right. Right. Very good and funny. <laughs> running to get food. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's our return. That's our oh. return answer. To the email that you got, my answer yeah. is running zombies. Jig's answer is uh, slow moving zombies. But the question back yeah, to you, definitely, and I guess everybody else. Yes. Yeah. So, um, the fat zombies. We need a question. We need a question to throw out there to everyone. And it's got to be better than and do fat zombies have to keep their cardio up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can fat zombies run yeah. forever? Do fat zombies like eating Chinese food? <laughs> 
<laughs> so I, I've got. It's I've a got hard a... One. I was trying to think of. Um, sorry to interrupt. I was trying to think of um, like maybe less of a question, more of a scenario. Okay. You know, so like, give people a choice. Say like, you are sat. I don't know. Out on the street, or oh, you're you're sat on a train. Okay. okay, so you're sat on a train, and uh, this outbreak's already happened. Yes, but you don't know. You don't know. Okay, because you obviously you haven't got a TV, and uh, you may check on your phone, but you haven't seen anything yet. So it's happened, and all of a sudden you're in the middle of nowhere, and the train dies. Oh gosh! And it just it just stops. So at the moment you're in the middle of nowhere. You're on a train, and it's it's just stopped. Obviously, you're surrounded by people. You hear moans coming from the carriage in front of you. Oh, gosh. And then you hear a fight break out, and then you hear screams. Oh, gosh. And they're getting louder, and you can hear the screams coming down the carriage towards oh. you. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> you crap your pants. Like I have just crapped my pants. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you try and lock yourself in your, your, your carriage and... Hold the fort, or do you? You bear in mind you haven't got anything. Yeah. Do you, or do you, do you run, trying to find the nearest house? Can you, you know? escape? Can you escape the the cabin that you're in in the train? Yeah, yeah. You can get out the cab. They, trains normally have like emergency gl- breaking glass window things. Okay, and they yes. hammers that you can break glass. Yes. Uh, and nine times out of ten, they have like emergency door openers and that. So, yeah, you can get off the tra- you can get off okay. the train. Um, or do you fight your way through? Yeah. Now, do you have do you have family on the other end of the train, or is it just you? And no, 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 nothing like that. You're just you, you, you're on. Say you're on your way. I know most people drive to work or whatever, but say you're on your way to work on yes. the train. You're just on your way to somewhere, okay. your mate's house to work, whatever. So yeah, you're on a train. The train stops in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. It's not. It's not light, but it's not dark, dark. So it's in that. It's in the middle of becoming nighttime. You know yeah, what? Your, ca- your train I, stops, breaks down. You hear. I moaning. have. What I have hear? an addition to your question of the week. And, I, and if you it. don't approve, you can tell me, and I will totally cry. But no, no, <laughs> okay. no, go for it. Let's say this. Let's say the people that that reply to this email, Skype, or if they send a voicemail in and let us know. To your scenario, the best one, we'll pick the best one, and I'll put it inside the story. What do you think of that? Yeah, go for and, it. And yeah, so it'll like actually be the listeners that oh, write right. that part of the story for us. Yeah, go for Ooh, it. Yeah, that sounds like a good Okay, let's, let's do with that. So if you're stuck yeah. in a train, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're stuck in a train going to work, or if you're like in an Amtrak going across the country, and or if they even have Amtraks there, what do they have, England tracks? Just trains. trains. <laughs> a train, just a train will do. And, You're on a train. <laughs> and a zombie outbreak from the cars in front of you or the cars behind you, uh, what do you do? Well, let's, yeah, let's, let's say you're in the very last carriage. Okay. So, yeah, you're in the very large, last carriage. The train breaks down in the middle of nowhere. Okay. You have no idea where the fuck you are. It's, it's like late evening, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's light, but it's slowly getting dark. Yeah, and you eventually you start, you, you hear a fight break right. out towards the front end of the train, and you hear screaming, but you hear the screaming and the shouting getting louder and louder. So you, you, you can hear the people being attacked from carriage to carriage to carriage, and then you eventually hear them outbreak in the front carriage just in front of you. What do you do? Oh, man. You know what? What? What is? What is your story from there? What happens? Do you, you know? Do you hold your fort? Do you? Do you fucking run off and try and find a house? Right. Do you? What do you do? Do you, do you fight your way? What do you? What, what do you do? do? We want to. All know. you really have is your suitcase. Yeah. How are you going to bash a bunch of zombie heads in with a suitcase unless it's? You know, yeah. Maybe you have a gun inside there. I don't. I guess it's up to the people who who yeah. uh, reply. Yeah. Oh, I mean, obviously, like. We'll try and keep it semi-realistic. Don't say like I'd pull out me fucking bazooka. Because <laughs> yeah. obviously you're not you're not unless you work for the fucking yeah. military, you're not going to have a bazooka in your back pocket. You're a are terrorist you? on so, a train. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, sorry. So you know, try and keep it realistic. Don't go and step outside and get in me yeah, tank. Yeah. But you know, so you know, try, try and think of what what you 
what you would normally take to work with you or what you'd normally have when you're out right. and about and try and work around that. So basically what I'd have is nothing so I'd be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I would too. So but... I you know, I've got I've got an animal instinct and so Maybe it's because I'm in Texas or it's just my weird ego. Maybe nothing would happen at all. But don't you think that inside, if if it, everything were to hit the fan right now, you, kind of like in 28 Days Later, you know how he just kind of turned into that animal towards the end of the movie and he just starts ripping everything to shreds? Yeah. Pushes that bloke's eyeballs in with his oh, thumbs. Crazy. It's awesome. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I was like, the, yeah. Oh, you do it, you're like, come on, you yeah. can do this, superb. Takes out the whole entire army oh, force. Oh, he's awesome. With his thumbs. Turned into my hero for that day, and then I watched, like... It is. I don't know. What was it, Incredible Hulk? That was a good movie. That's <laughs> <laughs> a big yeah, change. Big, That's a big, big change. change. Do you know my hero throughout the whole of the zombie apocalypse films? Every, all the zombie films <laughs> I've seen. My favorite, my hero, is CJ from Dawn of the Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love him because he starts off when you first meet him in the top half of the mall. He's a right arrogant yes. cunt. And he's a fucker. And you, you sit there and start off with, most people go, I fucking hate him. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> I weren't. I was like, I love him. I fucking love this guy. He's fucking awesome. And he'd become my hero towards the end. And he, oh yeah, he's, he's my hero from, from zombie films. Other than Barbara, of course, from Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, she's a a staple in the zombie community, isn't she? Yeah. She is. But you any any film you look at, I mean, they all end up getting this like animalistic tendency to fight for their survival. Right. Whether you look at Dawn of the Dead, you know, she starts off at the beginning of the uh, Night of the Living Dead. Sorry, Barbara. She starts off at the beginning of the film. She's this feminine-looking woman. You know, you see her in a skirt, in a you know a, a shirt right. top sort of thing, and she's. She's being chased. Her brother gets killed by a zombie. She's being chased by a zombie. She's screaming. She's got the typical, when you're running away yes. from a zombie, you know, typical women. They scream and they cry. They trip. They get up. They scream. They cry. They trip. They but get up. But it's classy, though. And you're like, just fucking die. But she made it awesome. <laughs> yeah. And she runs to this house, and through the whole of the film, she just gets harder and harder and harder. Yeah. Until she walks out of the end, and she's got some trousers on, a white vest top, and a gun, Ooh. and you're like, Fuck yeah. yeah, Barbara, you are fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah, I think she is fantastic. I think my favorite uh, hero from a zombie movie is probably, if it's even considered a zombie movie, I, I believe that it is still, is Ash from Army of Darkness, because that dude, he is mega macho through the whole thing. You know, he sees a chick, and he's like, "Hail to the king, baby," or. <laughs> you know, he actually splits in two from himself and still kills the 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 evil twin of him. So uh, Ash is probably my my pick, or Sean from Shaun of the Dead. He's pretty good too. Sean is pretty because cool. he's funny and he's, he's, he's got fantastic. a little a little gut to him, and he's a leader, natural born leader, and he wins the girl back at the end of the movie. He does, and we're going to interview him on the next show. No, I'm joking, we're not really. <laughs> I was like, "What? Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're not that good." He's probably in the states. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. We'll we'll track um, him down. If he doesn't, then uh, he's losing out, not us. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. If he's not listening, I might email him tomorrow. Okay. Just say, dude, do you want to do you want to do you want to have an interview for our the podcast? best interview you'll ever you email back and go? Do you know what? I've heard about this on the Life podcast, and I've heard it is the best. <laughs> Of course I'll do an interview for it. And I'll be like, mate, you are pucker. <laughs> but I'm not going to act like I like it, right, so fuck right. you. I don't know. I think, who, 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 <laughs> who would like a, a two-hour podcast that talks about zombies? There's almost nothing better than that. It is fantastic, especially someone who's been in a zombie right. film. I do like cinnamon. Oh, dude, you'd have to track down Bruce Campbell. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? I would love that. That'd be awesome. I would just be like, uh, how are you? I'm a, my name is Steady Rotten. Oh, it's good to see you. I would turn into like a... Turn into like a little schoolgirl yeah, with a crush. Yeah, I would turn into a little schoolgirl with a crush. Awesome. Yeah, I would probably be the same, I reckon, if I made anyone famous. I reckon my exact words would be like, <laughs> and then I'd probably piss myself and then pass out. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind the urine. Sorry. That happens all the time. 
So maybe it's best we stay away from famous people. Okay, for now, that's okay. (laughs) Except for, we'll we'll talk to each other because we're super duper famous, but that's it. We are. We are. We are. Hey. See, nobody would know.